Hi, this is a review of uh, Going in Style. Uh, funnily, I didn't want to watch either of the two films that I did see today, but in, I'm really glad that I did. And in a way, Going in Style was kind of the perfect second film after Ghost in a Shell because it's just light, easy, frothy. Uh, it stars uh, Alan Arkin, Michael Caine, and Morgan Freeman, three old men, who senior citizens who are kind of cheated, almost in out of their pensions in a legal way, <laughs> by the company they work for for 30, 40 years, and the banks aren't being too helpful either. Uh, one of them faces foreclosure. One of them has a kidney problem. One of them has many other problems. And they find themselves at crossroads. They love their grandkids, as those who have them. And then they decide, you know what, something has to be done about this. And they decide to rob their bank. Uh, what happens next is uh, simplified, oversimplified, uh, cheesy, and in a way, very unrealistic. <laughs> but. It's fun, it's gripping, and it's entertaining. They, there's a nice mix of the personalities, how they kind of get along with each other, alongside the planning, etc., for the bank robbery. Uh, excellent character roles by Joey King. Uh, you'll remember her in that tiny role in Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, and Mag Margaret, who is really lovely uh, as someone chasing Alan Arkin. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, great to see him, the mad scientist from Back to the Future. And Matt Dillon, always a pleasure, along with Peter Serafinovich. And special mention for John Ortiz, who has a pretty critical role. There's a quote uh, given in the film quite early on, uh, which is, in, in a culture, it is, it is a duty of a culture to take care of its elderly. And it's surprising how often, I think, very wise cultures seem to kind of forget that. Uh, I think we seem to forget that uh, when we are young and helpless, it's the parents who take care of us. And in a way, isn't it the circle of life that when they get old, we take care of our parents. And this film, I thought, was an interesting commentary on, on that, uh, on the value that the elders provide in terms of looking after grandkids or, or bringing them up, etc. Uh, I also thought it was a good commentary in terms of uh, the banking system and the pension funds and the whole scandals in the US. Uh, I think enough has been said about that. And by the way, it, this movie is not serious. It's very frothy. Like I said, it's very funny. Uh, these guys, for example, as a trial run, try to rob a supermarket. And that is hilarious. Uh, so lots of fun moments. The best parts are when the three of them are together. One phone call sequence, in fact, stands out in memory. Uh, Michael Caine is the kind of sane one of them. And that should want you of the film. But the real scene stealer, I mean, despite Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, was Alan Arkin. I thought he was brilliant. He, with his absent-minded, feisty self, uh, you'll remember him in Argo, for example. Uh, he, he was just excellent and lit up the entire film. This is one that I'm going to ensure both my parents watched. My mom did see it with me and she loved it, was laughing all the way through. Uh, lots of laughter in the hall when you're watching this. Uh, please do watch it in the hall. This is not one for just the DVD. Uh, I think you'll have fun. I'm going to go with a 7 on 10 for going out in style.